Hi everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and Luke's going to be joining me in just a moment so we can start our playthrough of Kemet. But there's a couple of things I need to mention first. In our How to Play episode, I told you that the maximum troop size is five units. And that's correct. But then, for some inexplicable reason, towards the end of the episode, I say, hey, don't forget the maximum troop size is four units. No, it's not. It's five, like I said originally, and I said multiple times during the episode. I don't know why I slipped up and said four, but I did, and I apologize for any confusion that might have created. I annotated the video. I also put an update in the description to point out that mistake, so hopefully future viewers will not be confused, but I, I wanted to clarify that for you here and now. I also want to bring you to the table here and show you a very quick example of movement, how that maximum troop size can affect it. Let's say that I chose a move action and assigned it to this troop. This would allow them to move one space plus an additional space because of the powers of this creature. So the question is, can I move through this space temporarily creating a troop size that is greater than the five unit limitation if at the end of my movement I go back to respecting the troop limitations? And the answer is no. At no point during movement or any other time during the game can you have more than five of your units in a single space. So this would mean if I wanted to end in this space with two units and the creature, starting from here I would instead need to break up my troop and just move this unit and the creature. Now we have only five units here and that's fine. And then I could grab one of the units that was in that troop and bring it along with me. Because remember, you can drop off and pick up units along the path of your movement. Or I can make it really easy on myself and just go this way, one, two, and achieve the same result a little bit more efficiently. Now Luke and I previously set up the board here. I'm gonna be controlling the blue tribe and Luke will have the red tribe. And originally I was going to have you guys team up with him, but there's enough hidden information in this game between the battle cards and the divine intervention cards that it wouldn't really work out. During editing, I'd be able to see what he has, and that's not fair at all. So you guys will be teaming up with me. Now speaking of Divine Intervention cards, we've also dealt out our initial starting Divine Intervention card. Let me show you which one that I received. This is called War Rage, and we can play this into a battle for free in order to give our troop plus one strength, and that may be just what we need in order to secure a victory during a fight. We also set the turn order randomly, as you're supposed to. Luke is starting, I'll be following him. He set his pyramids, blue to level two, white to level one, and red at zero, so off the board. I have blue off the board at level zero, but white at level two, and red at level one. So that's it, when we come back, Luke's gonna join us, and we'll be ready to play. All right, well now we've been joined by... Luke Smith. Yes, and Luke, we are starting the game in... In the night phase. In the night phase. What happens in the night phase? We get two prayer points. Yes, and then... We get a card that I don't know its name. <laughs> They're called the Divine Intervention Cards. And on the screen right now, you will be seeing the card that I just drew. Okay, now after this, we would resolve any power tiles that occur during the night phase. We don't have any power tiles, so we can no. skip past that. Now we would set the turn order, but that is determined randomly in the first round, which we already did. Who's going first? Me. That, that guy. So you get to go into the day phase right yeah. now, and you get to start assigning actions. Which okay. Which action do you want to do first? White oh, token thing. You're going to buy a white power tile. Okay. I'm going to spend one yes. to get this one. Every tile that I buy costs one less. Exactly right, and that's called the priestess. So priestess. Luke adds that. Now it's... It's my turn to take an action. All right, for my first action, I'm also gonna buy a power tile. It's gonna be a red one. I'm gonna grab this one here, which every time I attack is going to give me plus one to my strength. That seems pretty decent. Time for your second action. Do you know what you wanna do? Yep. I'm going to go to buying a blue tile. Okay. I'm going to buy the elephant. Going right for the creatures. Yep. Okay, now this one would normally cost you two prayer points because that's a level mm -hmm. two power tile. But you have the special discount. <laughs> so I, it only costs one. That's right. When I get a creature, it goes into a city space where my troops are. 
I'll put it with this one. Dad forgot something. I did. What did I forget? You didn't spend a prayer point for your power tile. This is true. So I will do that now. I'm down to six prayer points. Now, for my second action, what I want to do is level up my pyramid, mm. okay? I'm going to spend three prayer points right now. One, two, three. Brings me down to three. To put my white pyramid to level three, all right? So my action's over. Do you know what you okay. want to do for your third action? Yep. Okay, what is it? I'm going to do movement. Yes. That costs two because I'm going to teleport. Yes. I'm going to put this troop into the big temple. That location actually has a special name. It's called... The Delta Temple. That's right. So Luke's going for the big stuff right away. Making yourself a target, I have to mm -hmm. tell you. That's okay. I know what I'm going to do for my action. Right now, I'm going to buy a white tile. Okay. The one I want is called Hand of God. It costs three prayer points. I'll spend those right now. It's going to reduce me to zero prayer points. But this one, during every night phase, it activates and it allows me to level up any one of my pyramids for free to the next level. So that could save me some prayer points in the long run and give me access to some additional powers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's my third action. Go ahead, you have a fourth action. Do you know what it's going to be? Yep. Oh. I'm going to move again. Okay. I'm going to teleport. Right. I'm going to teleport this group over to here. Taking a second temple. Uh-huh. Very aggressive. Okay, for my next action, very simple. I'm going to grab some prayer points. I really have okay. to because I'm down to nothing. So oh, yeah. I'm bouncing it back up to two. What's your final action going to be, Luke? The exact same thing. Okay. So you got, what, a total of three prayer points now. Well, my final action. I needed those two prayer points because I am going to take a move action and I'm oh. going to teleport. That's going to cost me... Two prayer points, and you know it's coming, don't you? Yes, I do. I am going to move this troop here into this temple and start a battle. I would love to have gone up to the Delta Temple, but... That, that elephant. Yeah, that elephant is scaring me off a little bit. So I'm going to try this. Hopefully it'll be easier. Now, most of the times when we do a battle, we'll just play our cards onto the table. And we'll get things going really quickly. But I just want to explain again what you do in a battle. First of all, you take your battle cards and you discard one of them right away. And then you pick one that you're gonna be playing into the battle. So I have one that I'm gonna discard right now, and then one that I'm going to put into this battle. And you can add to it any divine intervention cards that you want to. So, hmm, okay, yes, I'm ready to, are you ready to play? Yep. Oh, you've already, he's already got them here. Okay, so we can flip them over and let's show you guys what we've done. Now going into this battle, Luke and I were tied. We both had the same number of units, five and five, but I knew with this power tile, I might have an edge because I had plus one strength. So I played my strongest battle card of four, knowing that if he played his strongest, I would still beat him, and that would mean I could collect a battle victory point. Here's the problem, what I didn't anticipate is Luke said, ah, forget winning the fight, I'm just gonna wipe you out. <laughs> Luke, you played a ton of damage here. Oh, yeah. So if we look at the battle strength, yes, I win. I have a total of 10. You sure did. And Luke, what was your battle strength? Six. Yeah, so, okay, I'm winning. Hooray. Now let's do damage. I do one damage to Luke. So this is going to leave the board and go back to Luke's reserves. Luke, how much damage did you do? I did five. Five? <laughs> that wipes out the entire troop. Woo. Now here's the bad thing. If you win the fight, but have no troops left, when you're the attacker, you don't get a victory point. And here's the other thing. When you win, your opponent, the loser, normally has to retreat or recall their entire troop in exchange for prayer points. And if there's no attacker left in the space, the defender doesn't retreat. But Luke, I would <laughs> gladly let you. Nope, I think I'll stay put. Oh. To play this divine intervention card, I need to spend one prayer point, which I already did. Yeah, most divine intervention cards are free to play, but this one did have a cost. So you took that, that's great. We're going to discard the battle cards that we played, my power tiles coming I'm back. I'm going to discard this. Yes, the divine intervention card goes away as well, thankfully. Now here's something else. When you move to these temples, Luke, you get to collect these two temporary victory points that come from the temples. So Luke now has two of the victory points he needs to win the game. Very nice, Luke. 
The round's not over yet, even though we've placed all of our actions, because now some of the players will be able to collect prayer points if they control temples. He's talking about me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking about myself. I have no temples. Luke, for this temple, you get to collect three prayer points. And then for the Delta Temple, you're able to sacrifice one of your units okay. if you'd like to collect five prayer points. Now, do you want to do that? <laughs> Clearly he does. It's not only that, though. If you have at least two temples, you now get to collect a permanent victory point. He now has three of the You know what? I want to say this. When I knew I was going to be teaming up with you guys against Luke, I felt a little bit guilty. You know, teaming up against my mm -hmm. young son. I don't feel that guilt at all. Bring out the big gun. <laughs> it's on now, guys. We need to get him. Okay, so now we just finished that round. We're going to move on to the next round, starting in the night phase. And we both get two prayer points. And actually, you weren't able to collect all of nope. them, were you? No, because you were at the maximum. I feel so bad for you. Okay, now we also get one divine intervention card each. Any nighttime power tiles? Resolve now. And guess what? I have one. I have one that allows me to upgrade a pyramid for free. I'm uh, turning this level oh. three white pyramid to a level four pyramid. Okay. And you know what that means? I get to collect a temporary <laughs> victory point. <laughs> I'm still behind, but I'm not that far behind. Now we need to set the turn order. And this is done by the person with the least number of victory points. No contest there. Yeah, it's me. I want to keep things the way they are. I like okay. going last, so I will continue to do so. We're now about to start the day phase, but we're going to end right here and I want you guys to help me out. In the YouTube comments below, tell me what you think I should be doing. What should I focus on here? Is there a power tile I should be grabbing? Is there another pyramid I should be upgrading? Where should I be going? Should I be moving and attacking someone at this table? Nope. <laughs> Let me know what you think I should do. And then if you like what someone suggests, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like it, then just propose your own suggestion. Maybe someone will vote for that. And then when we come back in the next episode, we'll follow whichever suggestion got the most votes. But until the next episode, Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.